What's up guys? Today we are doing the holder for this battery pack to put in the pit bike. This is the configuration we're gonna have. This one's gonna be right here. And this is the, the best I can put it in the bike. So we are using three volt, 40 amp hour LifePo4 batteries. We have a total of 16 batteries, 16 cells, which will give us a battery pack of 48 volts, 40 amp. This is quite a, a, a big battery, which is, which is good. Um, in the future, we're gonna add a few more once I get my hands on a few more of these. For now, this is what we're gonna use. And we are going to use um, aluminum profile, steel profile, and uh, threaded rod to build the holder. Um, I'll try to show you in time lapse exactly how this all comes together and how easy it is to, to make so you guys can make it yourself if, if you need it. Okay, that's it. So, here we have it, the battery pack fully assembled, assembled in the block, so the only thing left to do now is the connections, which we are going to do next. Um, the way I put this battery pack together, basically, it's using, let me get, using this aluminium, aluminium rod that fits perfectly in between the spaces of the battery ridges as you see like if I let it go you see it's it won't move um, I cut it the length of the battery and then using the threaded rods and um, plastic uh, shrink wrap protection the rods go all the way down to the battery so, as you can see, they pull up on it and these rods will not let the, the cells move from its place. In the motorcycle, what happens is um, I welded uh, supports where these rods will fit into and hold the battery up. So we will have six anchoring points for the battery. Once I have all of the connections made, um, I will also build a cover uh, out of probably uh, some lightweight material and wrap it in probably carbon fiber look-alike uh, vinyl so it, it looks good and it will have this, uh, this, this shape. Um, let me show you the bike and what I mean by the supports in the bike. So in the frame I welded these bars and these holes are exactly in the same place where the threaded rods from the battery come up. So then we would just have to push the battery up against this and tighten it in. Here in the back there are two more supports and it will stay on the frame. We are going to connect all the terminals of the cells in order to get a 48 um, volt battery. Um, we are going to be using mainly the original uh, connectors that connect like this uh, with four screws in each terminal. We are also going to be making some of the connectors because these do not span the distance that we need in order to connect uh, two batteries side by side. So yeah, let's get to it.
So, here we have it. It's finally done. That was painful. There's more than 120 screws in this battery and they all have to be properly torqued down. My arm hurts. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we have the finished battery pack. So we will get our negative from this terminal, our positive from this one. So what happens here is that um, the circuit goes uh, negative from this one to this one, here, 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 here. Then it has a shunt here, goes to this one, over here, go down, all of this ones, and then across, and then it goes across again, and it comes to this one that's on the, the front. It goes back, and it comes all the way up over here. That gives us a total of 16 cells with What the? So that gives us a total of 16 cells which fully charged provide 56, 56 amps, which is pretty good at 40 watt hours and a discharge rate of over 200 amps continuous. You see, the big deal about EV batteries, and if you're doing a project like this, you should take your time to research this. It's not so much how many watt hours the battery can handle. Well, it is as well. But the most important thing when you're doing a project where you're going to ha have a vehicle to have fun in and you're going to run it at high power, the most important, important part of it is the discharge rate. You have to have a camera that is high discharge rate. Um, not, not a camera, obviously, a, a battery that is high discharge rate. Because most of the, the batteries that you can find on AliExpress or eBay, they, they say they are, uh, for instance, 48 volts, uh, 40 amp hour, and they are small and they are cheap. I mean, about 500 US or, you know, but the problem is they can only be discharged at a continuous rate of about 30 amps or 40 amps. Uh, if I was going to try and run uh, the motor, the hub motor for this uh, pit bike out of one of those batteries, I would destroy the battery immediately. Uh, so I would need three or four batteries in parallel so that I can um, then extract the, the amps that, that I need. These cells, however, they are, uh, I think, 4C rated or 5C rated, which means that uh, I can extract uh, from them uh, five times the, the capacity per hour, I think. That's, that's how you make the... well. They give you a lot of power, they don't even warm up and they are they are very very good cells. So in the next video we will be bolting this to the um, to the the bicycle to the motorcycle frame. So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, see watch the next video. Don't, don't miss out.